And guys, in this next news story, two of the UK's most wanted burglars have been jailed for more than 30 years after they targeted 68 vulnerable and elderly victims across the West Midlands. Dobroslav Gabor and Marek Balog, who are both 43, committed the burglaries during the height of the lockdown from the 23rd of July to the 7th of November 2020. The pair preyed on homeowners in the areas of Sandwell, Walsall and Birmingham. One incident turned violent after Gabor and Balog forced their way into the home of a vulnerable 81-year-old man in West Bromwich. The elderly man has left his front door unlocked to allow carers to enter his home and when the burglars found him inside the home, they beat him to the ground and threatened him with a knife before taking money and his wedding ring, which the elderly man had worn on his finger for almost 60 years. Gabor and Balog then locked the man in a room and unplugged his phone after he pressed the emergency alarm for help. The 81-year-old was found after the pair had fled and was rushed to hospital. His health deteriorated and he has since passed away. I just want to say rest in peace and my condolences quite to his family. Hello? No, there's no half a job for cleaning like this. Pardon? Cleaning. For us. Yep. Cleaning like this. For job. No, thank you. No, thank you. Sorry. Okay, bye. Dramatic footage showed the moment. The Westminster police arrested the two men after a major manhunt by officers. The arrest of Balog came as he was in the process of burgling a home in Cheshire while Gabo was caught at his own property in Birmingham. Body cam footage from Gabor's arrest showed him attempting to hide underneath a fence panel in his back garden whilst pleading his innocence. Throughout their criminal spree, Gabor and Balog would often impose as workmen offering to clean driveways to gain access to a property. The pair would steal money and bank cards, jewellery and electrical items. Gabor and Balog also burgled a deaf man who could not hear them and smashing their way into his home as well as targeting a mosque in Birmingham on two occasions. The manhunt was launched by Westminster's police after neighbours who had been targeted put together their evidence to help identify the two men including police picking up fingerprints left behind an ID card. Gabor admitted to one count of aggravated burglary and conspiracy to commit 67 burglaries in jail for 16 years. Balog admitted the same offences and he was jailed for 14 years and 10 months. Birmingham Crown Court, the son of a deceased elderly man who was victim to one of the pair's despicable burglary, said, I am glad some proper justice has been had. It is a shame that my dad isn't around to hear this as he would have been really happy with this result. Detective Constable Susie Doidge, who led the investigation at Westminster's police, said, Gabor and Balog targeted people in their homes and places of worship at the time when the country was under huge lockdown restrictions, meaning their homes were their safe haven. But these men broke in and took that from them. They stole prized possessions, sentimental items and made people really fearful to sleep in their own beds. This was such a complex job with so many offences and different strands and I'm so pleased to finally see these two men being jailed for their crimes. When your home is broken into, it leaves such a devastating and lasting impact on people and I want to thank all our victims and the wider public for their cooperation and I hope that this outcome provides some comfort to the families I've worked with so closely over the last few years. So guys, in this next news story, members of an organised crime group who dealt wholesale amounts of cocaine throughout South Wales have been jailed for a combined total of 47 years. Cocaine worth a total street value of £400,000 was recovered by a police operation. Joshua Matthews, is 27, headed up the organised crime group having bought drugs from several upstream suppliers. He was seen by police receiving a bag containing four kilos of cocaine from his associate, Vincent Aquilina, who's 25, at an address in Cardiff on the 21st of July. Sentencing hearing at Cardiff Crown Court heard Matthews placed the bag in a Range Rover but was arrested a short time later in Miskin following a police chase which caused damage to 20 cars and caused injuries to people on the road. The bag was recovered and the address in Cardiff was searched where a further one and a half kilos of cocaine and three kilos of cannabis bush were discovered. A phone link to Matthews 
was examined and was found to contain text messages with evidence of significant drug dealing. The investigation named Operation Cruz was carried out by Tarion, the Regional Organised Crime Unit for South Wales and the matter was brought to court with seven defendants jailed for their part in the conspiracy. Joshua Matthews was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and dangerous driving. Vincent Aquilina was sentenced to 7 years and 3 months imprisonment for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Kaid Mohammed, who's 39, an ex-footballer, was sentenced to 11 years and 6 months imprisonment for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. The 39-year-old winger made 11 appearances for Swindon Town during the 2007-2008 season before playing 9 times for Chippenham Town in 2018. Before that, he played in the Football League at clubs such as Bristol Rovers, Newport County and Cheltenham Town. Then you got Jacob Bates, who's 29 from Shropshire. He was sentenced to four years and nine months imprisonment for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. But Jamie Higgins, who's 22 from Telford, was sentenced to four years and six months imprisonment for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. You had Alan Willis, who was sentenced to four years and six months imprisonment for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and possession with intent to supply cannabis. Then there was Jacob Howell Santos, who was sentenced to four years and three months for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and permitting of Class A drug supply on his premises. Detective Chief Inspector Lloyd Williams of Tarion, RRCU, said these men were intent on allowing vast quantities of Class A drugs to permeate the communities of Southern Wales. Thanks to the relentless efforts of a dedicated team of investigators, they were apprehended and have subsequently been handed significant sentences and it's hoped that these sentences will serve as a deterrent to anyone else who is involved in or thinking of becoming involved in the dealing of drugs. And in another news story coming from Wales, a man who slashed another person five times across the face and neck after accusing him of being a grass has been jailed. The victim managed to escape but collapsed outside as a result of his injuries. Jamal Salah, who's 30, used a kitchen knife to stab the victim on February the 9th at a flat in Newport city centre after he went back with a woman. He sustained five wounds during the attack to his forehead, cheek, back of the head and neck. A sentencing hearing at Cardiff Crown Court heard the victim had been drinking in Newport on February the 9th before meeting up with a woman and returning to her flat in Commercial Street. When he walked into the flat, the defendant was met with animosity and hostility by Salah and another man who accused him of being a grass. The victim tried to leave but was grabbed by both men and Salah stabbed him a number of times with a kitchen knife. Having suffered five wounds, the victim managed to leave the flat but collapsed outside. Witnesses saw him and called an ambulance who took him to hospital. Prosecutor Paul Hewitt said armed police attended the flat and it was clear to officers an attempt had been made to clean up the property with the victim's blood found on the stairs and outside the flat. The kitchen knife was recovered and the two men were arrested but the defendant admitted picking up a knife. It was later discovered that debit cards, money and a phone had been taken from the victim. Salaf Newport later pleaded guilty to wounding and causing GBH and the court heard he had four previous convictions including possession with intent to supply drugs for which he received a 64-month prison sentence. In mitigation, Gareth Williams said his client was remorseful and accepted responsibility for the offence. The judge sentenced Salah to a total of four years and nine months in prison and will serve two-thirds of the sentence before he was released to serve the remainder on licence. So guys, there's a number of stories coming out of the streets of the UK. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.